Gamers, welcome to 2021, a year that hopefully will be better than the last one. Shouldn't be too difficult. The start of a new year means that I have to tell you all about my favorite Switch games that I still play on a daily basis. A lot of you probably receive Nintendo Switch consoles for Christmas, and you'll soon be on the lookout for epic games to play. Hopefully, today's list will help you out decide which games to get next. But just before we do that, can I get you to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already? Takes a second and helps me a lot. Okay, now let's just jump into it. Hey, I'm Nico, and here's my top 10 Switch games. Only choosing 10 games to put on this list was pretty difficult, and I had to choose in between New Super Mario Bros. U and Yoshi's Crafted World for this 10th position. After deliberating with myself for a while, I had to give Yoshi a spot in the list, because of how creative and original the game is. First off, look at the art style. Everything is made out of paper, cardboard and other crafting materials. That's just so cute looking. But looks aside, the game is very solid, with amazing gameplay, tons of hidden collectibles to find, a couple of cool power-ups, and very fun boss battles. This game also has tons of levels, and even some secret ones if you collect enough flowers by the end of the game, but I'm not gonna say more. I'll let you discover everything for yourself. This game is just pretty cool. When a game has the word ultimate in its title, then you know you're in for a pretty good time. And this is exactly what Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is. The definitive edition of everyone's favorite Nintendo fighting franchise. While the game is over two years old now, it has been updated ever since its release, with new characters, new stages, and 2020 was the year when Minecraft Steve joined the game. I was there for the reveal, and let me tell you, this was pretty crazy. This game seriously is a love letter to every single Nintendo fan, having hundreds of different music tracks to choose from, dozens of stages to fight on, and over 75 characters to choose from. This is just ridiculous. And with third-party characters like Bayonetta, Sephiroth, Cloud, Minecraft Steve, this game just became even crazier. And you know what? There are still three more characters that will be revealed throughout the year, so the ride never ends. You know what? Speaking of never-ending rides, this next game is one that I just cannot stop playing. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is the perfect Mario Kart game to me. It contains the best racetracks, the sharpest graphics, the best orchestral soundtrack ever, and even has the best online experience on a Nintendo console. Which isn't saying a lot though, cause Nintendo and online... Ugh. Bad internet jokes aside, this game contains everything the original Wii U version had, but also includes all of the DLC, a bunch of new characters, and a brand new battle mode that is actually fun this time around. Seriously, if you're looking for a game that anyone can play and that everyone will love, well look no further, Mario Kart 8 is your game. Old school fans of mine will recognize this game here, as it was my number one Wii U game at one point. Let me tell you all about Hyrule Warriors. It's a game where you control Link, Zelda and a couple other characters, and you defeat swarms upon swarms of enemies, regain controls of keeps and defeat giant bosses. Well this year I treated myself to the definitive edition for the Switch, and this game is the perfect version of Hyrule Warriors. The resolution is better, it now runs at a perfect 60 frames per second, it contains every single DLC from the Wii U and the new Nintendo 3DS versions, and allows you to swap your fighter while on the battlefield. This game seriously has way too much content. I spent about 100 hours on the Wii U version and barely scraped the surface. So you know that I had to spend another 100 hours on the Switch version, and I still haven't beaten a ton to be honest. The new characters in this game are super fun to play, the new adventure maps are amazing, if you're looking for a fun game that will be fun for hours and hours, and you're a fan of the Zelda series, well, look no further. You've found your game. 
there are some games that don't particularly interest you at first, but once you play them and give them a chance, you become a fan instantly. And for me, Pikmin 3 Deluxe is exactly that. The only reason I gave this one a shot is because of my friend Mr. Tongwa. He's been playing the game a lot, and I now completely understand why. In Pikmin, you control those captain characters that can control little Pikmins, and you give them orders such as collecting fruits, fighting enemies, breaking walls, and so much more. There are different types of Pikmins, some being immune to fire, flying ones, Pikmins that can swim, and a lot more, and trying to find the best combination of Pikmins to use to complete a mission is what makes it that much more interesting. The story mode is pretty cool, with a couple twists here and there, but the mission mode is where it's at for me. You can collect fruits and treasures, battle enemies, or defeat giant bosses. And you gotta do this quickly, as time is very limited. Once you're done with a level, you'll get a score, and you can now even compare yourself to people online and get to see how bad you are at the game. I thought I was good. 2D Mario games are amongst my favorites, but I have to admit that I don't know how Nintendo can top a game like Super Mario Maker 2 in that category. Who needs new Super Mario Bros U when you have a level builder mechanic that allows you to play millions of levels at any times? I guess that's why we haven't seen a proper new 2D Mario game in a while. What's left for me to say about Super Mario Maker 2? You know I enjoy it. Heck, last year I created an entire channel based on me playing your levels. While I'm currently taking a break of that game because I played it way too much, I can still admit that it's one of the best games available on the Nintendo Switch right now. And if you enjoy Mario platformers, well this game will have everything you're looking for. Will we see the return of Super Nico Maker in 2021? I don't know yet. But when I decide to play this game again, you guys will be the first ones to know. Since everyone was at home last year, we had lots of time on our hands, and the internet rumor machine started going stronger than ever. For Mario's 35th anniversary, it was rumored that a remake of Mario 64, Mario Sunshine and Mario Galaxy was on the way. We started dreaming of a Super Mario 64 remake in glorious HD with epic updated graphics and models, and we got, well, this. <sighs> Don't get me wrong, Mario 64 is a pretty good game, but I was really disappointed to see that all we got is a port of the game with very few enhancements. Sunshine suffered a similar fate, with the main new gimmick being widescreen support. But Mario Galaxy though. Oh, Mario Galaxy, this one was done right. It never looked so good before, with true HD support, 60 frames per second gameplay, and amazing gyro controls that work as well as the Wiimo did on the Wii version. So yeah, the only reason why this game is here on the list is because of Super Mario Galaxy. And you know what? I now wish that a Super Mario Galaxy 2 updated version comes out as well. Please make it happen, Nintendo. What do you get when you combine The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and Hyrule Warriors? Well, you get its sequel, Age of Calamity. This brand new game that came out of nowhere last year is just more of the goodness that the Hyrule Warriors series is, both with more emphasis on strategic fighting and it's all about the Breath of the Wild world. Yeah, that means that you won't see Toon Link here, but be ready to fight as Link, Zelda and the four champions, as well as tons of unlockable characters, which I'm not gonna get into to avoid spoilers. The Breath of the Wild map is huge, so expect to be playing this Hyrule Warriors spin-off quite a lot if you intend to fully complete the camping. You'll be fighting, training, leveling up, cooking food to help you out, and you'll buy material to unlock your special combos and attacks. You'll be using the ancient Sheikah abilities to throw bombs, freeze enemies, and will use different rods to burn, freeze or shock them, which is actually pretty fun. But obviously, to fully immerse yourself in Age of Calamity, then you might want to play another game before you play it. Yes, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is the game you'll want to be playing first. 
if you want to truly get everything that's going on in Age of Calamity. What is there to say about this Zelda game that hasn't been said before? Breath of the Wild is a masterpiece of a game. It's the very first open world Zelda title and basically if you see something, you can actually reach it. There's over a hundred shrines to explore, which are like mini dungeons, as well as four main dungeons to beat if you want to fully save the world. But you know what? You can also just skip all of this and go straight to Ganon right from the get-go. This is what this game is all about. Freedom. Freedom to explore, freedom to discover, freedom to fight, and you're basically left alone in this giant world and you can do whatever you want. This is seriously one of my favorite games of all time, and I just cannot wait for the sequel that will hopefully come out by the end of this year. To finish off 2020 right, I decided to do a bunch of live streams and play Super Mario Odyssey with you guys, and tried to get all of the moons in the game. That was a feat that I had never done before, and now that I have discovered everything that Mario Odyssey has to offer, I can safely say that I like this game more than ever now. I often get asked whether I'd prefer a Super Mario Odyssey 2 or a Mario Galaxy 3, and the choice was always super easy for me. But not anymore. I played both Mario Galaxy and Odyssey in 2020, and I'm not so sure which one is my favorite anymore. I do love the hundreds of hidden moons in Odyssey, the brilliant level design, the very different worlds, heck, I'm even okay with the fact that there's a big giant dragon in a Mario game. Mario Odyssey is a never-ending rush of adrenaline. You collect a new moon every few minutes, and it just makes you want to play it even more and keep collecting those. I'm so glad you guys helped me get 999 moons last year, because it showed me how much I love this game, and that's why I have to put it at the top of the list this year. Thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and hit the bell to make sure never to miss a single upload of me. Smash like to show me you enjoyed the video, and tap the cards on screen right now to watch even more. 2021 is going to be big for this channel, and trust me, you don't want to miss a single thing. Alright gamers, I'll see you in the next one.